Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank y'all for tuning in to TNT with your girl, Jazzy J, and your main man, Mike DZ. We appreciate y'all. Um, this will be a really quick video. For one, we want to say big shout out to everybody that came through and watched our Sugar Water premiere. We appreciate y'all so much. Apparently, we don't know what we're doing just yet because we tried to do a premiere, but we missed the whole premiere. So sorry about that. If you were on there, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Be sure to go check out that video about the fourth grader who started her own beverage line. Now, this this video is about Minneapolis Police Department are to curb minor traffic stops and long cited by city critics as racial profiling. So they are no longer going to be doing minor traffic stops in these terms. So it says an air freshener dangling from the rearview mirror or driving with in or driving with expired tags will no longer be reason for Minneapolis Police Department to stop motorists, Mayor Jacob Fry announced on Friday. Additionally, the city attorney office will no longer pursue tickets against motorists cited for driving on expired licenses if the sole reason for suspension is failure to pay fines. And y'all, this is big, man. It might seem like a small thing, but it is a, definitely a big thing. For one, um, we all know that so many of us, especially black people, have in, had interactions with police officers just based on small minor traffic infractions. Um, had they not saw an expired tag or had they not saw um, something that they think they could pull us over for that was small, we would have never even had an interaction with them. Us personally, we've gone through that many times. So this is definitely a big thing. So it's going to stop the amount of contact, um, not all together, but a lot of the contact that people have had with police officers. Um, also, they're not going to be going after people for lack of payment um, because lack of payment just means that you don't have the money to pay. So um, that is going to help people in communities that are lower on the poverty level that just are trying to get to work and can't pay those tickets. Um, so y'all, this is something that I definitely think is a step in the right direction. We still have so many more cities that I hope pick this up as well, but this is going to lower the interaction of police officers um, with the public, which is awesome. And now if they are pulling you over for these reasons, you have a reason uh, to sue the department, definitely. So um, definitely this is not where it ends. We still have more, but all praises to the most high for the things that are getting done and the changes that are happening. And we just gonna knock them out one city at a time, man, one at a time. All right, y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in to TNT and check out the video after it's a two minute clip of what's going on. All right, y'all, peace out. For years, defense attorneys like me have brought up the issue of pretextual traffic stops where we felt that the traffic stop had a, an illegal reason and that the statute to be incited to justify the traffic stop was a pretext for an illegally motivated traffic stop. From what I've understood from the, the public safety briefing, there was an expired registration on the vehicle. That means the tabs were expired. Upon arrival, when the officer made contact, I think at that time when he made up, when he walked up to the car, he discovered that there was a hanging item from the from the rear view mirror. So there was a contact that the officer went up there initially for, attain, obtained his, his ID or his driver's his name, and he walked back to his car, and at that time he ran his name and he found out that he had a warrant. That's why they were moving from the car and they were making custodial arrest. There has to be reasonable, articulable suspicion of criminal activity for a police officer to justify a Terry stop or a traffic stop, or even if the person's not moving it, you don't have to actually stop them. You just have, a police officer has to initiate a governmental intrusion upon the person's liberty or freedom, like asking them a question about about suspicions. Even we lost a twenty-year-old young man. as an ultimate re result of a traffic stop. That should never happen once. It should never happen twice. It should never happen four times or as many times as we've experienced this. When you have laws that make trivial things illegal, 
arguably even marijuana. Uh, trivial things become illegal. That creates more police contacts. And every time there's a police contact, there's a danger of violence because the police can use violence to enforce whatever it is they're trying to do. You have to comply with them. Otherwise, they can arrest you violently if you resist.